across the country, the judicial inquiry hearings reveal gory tales of the deformed special anti-robbery squad officers leaving behind death and destruction. One of the victims of SARS operations, Bonaventure Woke, has suffered a similar fate, joins us now to discuss issues bordering on improving policing in the country. Hello, Bonaventure. Glad to have you join us. In few words, uh, Bona, if I can call you that, tell us how you became a victim of the defunct SARS. Yes, um, I, uh, I, will, I became a victim of SARS on uh, August 1st, 2013. Um, um, two, two human skulls and uh, a gun was planted in my hotel by a lodger. Then at the 7 in the morning, SARS surrounded my hotel. And then uh, the then uh, uh, governor of the state came to the hotel two hours after and ordered the demolition of my hotel without the investigation. Uh, we ended up at uh, Okozo SARS. Um, at Okozo SARS, I underwent torture in the hands of CSP James Wanfo. Uh, uh, after a while, uh, there was no complainant in the matter. But it later turned out that the P2B's administration was indeed the complainant at the tail end of it. As I'm talking today, being seven years after, there's still no complainant. Um, my experience at Okozo SARS was a brutal experience. I was, uh, what you might call, I was subjected to what they call necklacing. Necklacing torture is a situation where they wrap a cloth around their neck and then a rope comes after it. Then they stretch it up. Then you pass out. I myself, I'm an educated man. But because of the state, they put me on consciousness. They printed an already, already written statement on my behalf. And then uh, eventually the case collapsed because uh, he ended up uh, 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 having no complainant. Till date, there's no complainant. That's what, what I, what I, why we continue to condemn SARS. We must also understand that uh, uh, the system may be complicit in it. Uh, because in my own case, um, uh, at a certain point, CSC James wife of Okuzo SARS had to tell my lawyer, Professor Namu Menweke, that he's not the one holding me. Uh, that is the P2B's administration. So, in as much as they, they commit atrocities there, uh, let us not isolate the whole uh, uh, SAD development strictly on SARS, because uh, it has to be a collective responsibility. That is what I can say on that. Yes, I was just going to come in there, because you mentioned that it was under P2B's administ administration. Um, so at least from your own perspective, would you then say that the SARS issue, as we all seem to be uh, appreciating now, is one that has transcended several administrations? It's not one that is unique to one, one uh, administration. Exactly. I like, I'm, when you now talk about Anambra State, the whole, the whole uh, 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 what you might call, uh, uh, activities of uh, SARS started from uh, the shooter site order P2B issued during the time of MASOP. So it gave them the ample latitude to slaughter indiscriminately, killing without thinking, killing without investigation, with the, because that uh, should aside provided a blanket cover um, uh, for the killings. Um, um, that was during the time of Ezu River. Ezu River, if you remember Ezu River. That Ezu River, most of those victims were, were myself members, you know, but which was later suppressed. Uh, yes, it was suppressed. I know it was suppressed. And uh, so, like I was saying, it's not really, we say SAS, 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 SAS. But there's always a genesis. There's always a, a factor that... Uh, 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 creates a latitude whereby a, 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 a SAS officer will tell you, I'll kill you and nothing will happen. Uh, the only way you can say that is if it's a cover, if it's protected, if there is a latitude. That's, I'm talking about Anambra State case. As I'm talking to you today, 140 people, Anambra, Anambra State uh, SAS panel, on, on, out of the complaint, 140 people has been said to have been killed by James, James Wafo under P2B's administration. 140 people, as a, by account as yesterday, 140. Now, how can that kind of killing be going on without the knowledge or, or rather a security report to the governor to that effect? That's what I'm saying. So why we continue to blame SARS? We must also pause a little and, and take consideration as per what could be, what could be the underlying factor behind the killing with impunity. You know what I'm saying? What, as a, what, as a what you're point, saying is, I mean, what you're saying is that the rot runs so much deeper than just SARS. 
You're saying that it, it, it reaches so many more levels. And you've made quite serious allegations uh, against former uh, government, gubernatorial administrations in an amber estate. And you're saying quite a few times that it's not just SARS. I mean, when it comes to your personal experience, do you think that over that seven year period from your run-in with SARS and you saying that you were wrongfully accused uh, to the point now, do you think that this level of rot has worsened or has it just stayed the same or has it just been a case of more people are conscious to the negativity that's already been happening? Or do you think that it has gotten considerably worse over the past seven years? No, no, I, I won't. I, 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 let me put it this way. Our, the culture of the society is the tendency to say, we leave it to God. We leave it to God. We leave it to God. The point is that, it, it, I think it's of the same frequency. You know what I'm saying? It is of when, the same latitude, under the auspice of fighting crime. You know what I'm saying? And then let me correct you a little. Everything I'm saying here is a fact. The latitude with which the SARS started killing has everything to do with that shooter site or that. Yes, Masob was a problem, the state at the time. But because of the, 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 how monstrous Masob assumed, P2B felt incapacitated and, and relied on that shooter site as a taming measure. But the consequences of the taming measure was extrajudicial kill killing and indiscriminate killing, which one, for being a lunatic, a comprehensive lunatic, catalyzed upon it, to kill indiscriminately under the auspice of that. All right, Bonaventure. See, otherwise, there's no way a police officer, yes. Yeah, Bonaventure, it's good you're talking, but we must realize that this is your word against Peter B. In as much as, much as you're saying is a fact to you, you need evidence to be able to prove this. His word also has to come in. But you said uh, uh, scores were planted in your hotel and eventually they ransacked it and demolished your hotel. And you talked about complainant. I want you to be able to explain that more for clear understanding. And what did they say that you did that eventually got you into Okozu or Okozu SARS? Okay, this is the story. During the P2B administration, P2B considered Osokwodu Motor Park to the Onesha natives. Then beside that also called the park is Mokwe Park. Mokwe Park belongs to me. So when the transporters that were loading out of the also called uh, park, which was given to Anusha people, when they felt they were being asked to pay a lot of money, they moved to Mokwe Park. When they now moved to Mokwe Park, Anusha people now uh, sent some, uh, some of their, their, their youth, led by Patrick Ayamba, Onesha youth, led by Patrick, who is now Onesha North Local Government Chairman. He led those men to, to attack my own motor park, and I defended myself proportionately. After that, it was considered an affront. Two weeks after that, a larger lodge in my hotel, which is close to the same motor park, and planted two rotten skulls and two guns, all in one, one bag, in room 102. He lodged on July 31st, Around 6.37, then 7 in the morning, SARS surrounded my hotel. And then we were all taken to Okozu SARS. Then P2B arrived at my hotel two hours or thereabout and ordered the immediate demolition of my hotel. That's how it happened. And, and that's, that's, why that's how you're... I ended up. Okay, at and Okozu that's why you're saying he's a complainant. All right, uh, for want of time, we'll just stop here. Thank no, you. No, 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 no. Me, if you want to know how he became a complainant, is Well, this. we don't have. After one week, no complaint. Yeah, we don't have all the time. Uh, I would have let you talk about that, but we don't have all the time. Thank you, by the way, uh, Bonaventure Walker. And, uh, well, sorry for all that you had to suffer in the hand of SARS. We hope you get justice. All right.